Oh, never mind. One's all around here. We are playing vanilla. So we have. Let's take a look here. Round we one. have Sacramento Kings, Fight. Ed, and what looks to be Miami Vice Lara. Lovely colors from both characters. So tell me a bit more about Lara in Season 5.5. I know she's been a character who's been uh, either hailed as too good or uh, regarded as not very good. How's she feeling on uh, Street Fighter 5 these days? Uh, well, I'm having a hard time saying a bad word against her right now because we have purple KO here for Round 1. Shadow is getting absolutely slammed. Round makes lightning here. Yeah, Boy, many nice. times against Laura that can happen that first exchange, and then you uh, adjust to her unique way of maintaining offense. That crouching medium kick has always been such a fantastic tool of hers. So be sure to watch for it. Like just you think you finally gotten away from uh, those big pokes of hers, that one just kind of sneaks you off your feet and leads into that, and now she's back in your face. Yeah, you know, gotta say this cross up jump light kick here doing a lot of work for Dro at the moment. Big punish on the EX command grab attempt there, able to get a full jump back into a dash forward with all those recovery frames. And here comes the games Laura likes to play. Good, just converting right into it. Now Laura has to be careful. There's a fireball waiting for her. You mentioned those throw loops. Laura has full V trigger. She could have potentially V versus some of that, but at the same time, looking for throw loops might be the smartest idea. And Laura tried dashing. Well, that could have been finishing the job. Yeah, Back Shadow Ace it. doing a great job here of playing around the activation attempt from Laura. Now, Chip is definitely a threat given that Dro has no long, no V reversal available to them. But finding a touch here in the corner, oh my goodness, so much damage. EX upper? I was thinking maybe I just go for it, but uh, yeah, you saw Laura's looking for it too. So good stuff, Shadow for being patient. Watch yourself. Oh no! Oh, you don't, you you got don't. You don't have it! You don't have it! You can just jump the way! And you would have just whip punish. I think Dro forgot that in that situation there are chip kills. Uh, yeah, definitely a bit of a slip of the mind there from Dro. Could have maybe escaped from the threat of chip, but instead taking it to the chin. That's okay though. Shadow Ace did have to spend all their bar for that comeback there. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, that one round can slip away really fast. We're seeing right now pushing, pushing to the corner. One more yeah, hit's gonna be dizzy. Double counter hit is there for Shadow Ace, providing massive damage and the flicker to occupy the space. Big damage going to this other side. No, stays in front. Oh! All right. But, but, Laura, dangerous as always, found their way out of the corner with the cross up. Don't get too crazy. Yeah, I was thinking something was coming. Yeah, V trigger right there. Oh, what a whiff! And Shadow Ace steals one. Things look to be firmly in Dro's control at second round, but then Dro forgot where he was with uh, health and shift kills, and Shadow has used opportunity to take the game with a convincing round three. Yeah, I gotta say, I, I like the idea and the reaction there. The EX command grab did get it all the way clean through Big Perp oh, there, boy. but just barely short of its target. Shadow A is able to clean it up with a crouch medium punch and the recovery. All right, all right, here we are, back to playing Elusive. All right, gradually pushing Ed to the corner. Laura has to be mindful of go. Oh, okay, knew that Ed was going to swing to something and went for the command grab, and it worked. And now this is all Laura. Yeah, all Laura all day, up in life here, but still not had enough. Oh, getting punished a little bit for their greed here, maybe. Shadow Ace found a nice little conversion here with V Trigger Two and getting the mix as well. Ooh, yeah. Got the cross up. I don't see many up front backers that hit that clean. I usually wait for people to like, get absolute guarded, but nah. This has been all Shadow Ace. Things look to be firmly large control, but taking too many of those uh, perp mixes has put things back in edge control. Uh -oh. And as I said that, uh oh, not enough. This is pretty tight. Anyone's game? Fortunately, Ed might have uh, considered something. Ed was too patient and got thrown. Yeah, it turns out to be Dro's game. Oh, and the EX elbow didn't find its mark before it does now. EX, take one of these of my own. Invincible reversal, saving the day here for Shadow Ace at the moment. Dro, so, still trying to pile on that, uh, Something that Street Fighter players tend to do as reach the higher levels is if they're going to go for a reversal, they'll usually do when they have a lot more health. Because if you have low health and you need to get out, 
the opponent will know you're trying to do something, and they'll be more leery of trying to bait it and punish it. So good stuff to Shadow Ways for uh, playing the long game right now. But he's made something happen. He's got to make it happen now. Oh, Drill yeah. Drill and Laura might take a game. Big perp sailing off into the sunset there as Laura launches herself backwards. But Shadow Ways managing it. A critical crouch medium punch into the upper for the CA conversion here. Wow, what a timing there on the button. And a great yeah, conversion Shadow as well. Shadow Ace has his own way of waking up when he's low on health, so he got that conversion nice and clean. And now Shadow Ace is on set point. Yeah, that's right. We, talk we talked earlier about him potentially stealing one. Nah, he might uh, just take two of them and show I was the guy who was supposed to win the first place. Look at this. And he's playing a lot of shimming right now using a... Uh, yeah, that uh, crouch jab is really good of his, well as a crouch medium punch. Yeah, Shadow Ace playing in true boxer style. Kind of being elusive on the ground there with the footwork. Gotta say, a lot of dash forwards being unchecked here from Dro is allowing Shadow Ace to get a lot of uh, situations in their favor. Oh, and the Crush might just be able to take it. It is with the stun. He got it. Good stuff. Shadow Ace takes it 2 nothing. And I really like that conversion where he did the, uh, the Psycho Splash into the Psycho Upper. That was neat. Usually I see people try to go for the Snatchers. But yeah, having it end like that also 